And welcome back to the Sunday Sports Update. If you miss the Oakland and Detroit men's basketball game and the women's basketball game yesterday, you missed a treat. Greg Campy, Travis Bader from the Oakland men's basketball team joining us here on the Sunday Sports Update. Nice to see you guys. And we're really glad to be here. You bet. Well, because we knew you're going to have the winning team here. So well, we're glad to be here. That's why we brought <laughs> you guys on. You guys take round one of the Horizon League arch rival battle, the Crosstown rival coach. And we talk about this. Uh, this this rivalry goes back a long ways, doesn't it, coach? Well, there's some history to it, yes. And, you know, we've played Detroit for many years when we were not a Division One team. And then we started a series with them when we were Division Two, or when we went to Division One, And then somehow that series got broken off and we haven't played them in a long time, so it was kind of nice to be back in Callahan Hall. What a, a tremendous facility to play in. Yeah, and talk about just how challenging it was too, Travis, just to go into that facility and play this Titans team with all the whole red out watching you guys. And that, not an easy place to play, was it? Uh, not at all. You know, it was it was fun though. You know, we expected it uh, from the very beginning um, for there be, to be a great crowd, which there was. And um, I'm more surprised of uh, you know our students uh, traveling and showing up and supporting us and. Um, you know, they played a, a big part of that game. Uh, they were very loud, and, and uh, it really helped us get that win. Coach, what does it mean to the program, though, to be able to get that first victory in this rivalry in the Horizon League with the uh, University of Detroit? Well, the, the thing that I tried to stress after the game was it's just round one, mm -hmm. and that we want this to be like that every time we play, and that, you know, that these games, every time you play, have those types of crowd, that type of intensity. And it was a great college basketball game. Sure. It really was. And it was as intensive a game as I can remember being part of. So if they can be like that long term, then it'll be a great rivalry. And I know everybody uh, at Oakland has Friday, February 14th circled on the calendar because, oh, by the way, Detroit goes to the arena for round two on the 14th. Valentine's Day. Valentine's I'm sure there'll Day. be a lot of love that day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the arch rival love. Now, shifting focuses for a moment, and I know Travis doesn't like when I shine the spotlight on him, but I'm going to do it anyways. You are 16 three pointers away from breaking J.J. Reddick's all-time three-point record in college basketball. That's a pretty big deal, Travis. Yeah, um, you know, like you said, I don't really, uh, you know, like to discuss it, but, um, you know, it is, um, I think it reflects more on, um, you know, Oakland University as a whole and uh, Coach Campy and, and the assistant coaches and, you know, the players that I've played with uh, throughout my career. Um, you know, that just doesn't happen, and, uh, you know, without those players, you know, helping assist that, and it, it, it shows more to them than it does to me. This is your last year, and Coach, I know it's a real special treat for you to guide a player like Travis Bader to something like that, such a historic record. Well, the cool thing about this is, you know, how many times have you said, that's the greatest sandwich I ever ate, or that's the greatest, you say things like that because that you'll never, I mean, what is the greatest, really? This young man's going to be the greatest in the history of college basketball, and all the players he's played with, there's Every one of them had an assist to him. Every one of them set a screen to get him open. So it, it was a, a team thing to get this individual record. And the rest of their lives, they'll be able to talk about the greatest ever. And you know what? Speaking of basketball, you guys have had one of the most difficult schedules in the country. North Carolina, Gonzaga, Cal, and Berkeley, California. What else am I missing, guys? UCLA, UCLA, Michigan State, Michigan Indiana. State. I mean, the list goes on. I think we got the Pistons and the Lakers next <laughs> you guys week. guys have the Lakers coming up. <laughs> We appreciate you guys coming down again, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Campy, Travis Bader from the Oakland Golden Grizzlies basketball program. You are welcome here anytime and best of luck the rest of the season, guys. Well, thank you very much. We'll come whenever you want us. You bet.